So now it's just cutting with the rotary module. As you can see, we're cutting not at a very slow speed. We're just having it r run through. These designs are typically very simple. Uh, these are very long uh, rectangles or um, rectangles with uh, cut corners. So if we go through here, it's cutting, it's cutting. What I want to show you is when we're going to feed again, you will notice that at the rear, that material will lay flat. It's very important to realize that uh, this is one of the most difficult things for textiles, is feeding the textile. If you have a system that puts too much stress on your material, you will get a lot of deformation. If you have not enough stress on your material, it will not lay flat. So this is very important for the application, is to have a very good feeding. Now, uh, the HDRS is good for this type of material, as you can see how nice that looked. Uh, the HDRS is designed for these kinds of materials, not for highly stretchable materials. So this SEG material, this polyester material, has a very light stretch, uh, let's say, stretch factor. Uh, it stretches about, let's say, around 3%, 4%, 5%, something along those lines. If you go to, for instance, um, uh, materials that contain uh, lycra, uh, then uh, this will put too much uh, stress on the material and will actually deform your material a lot and you can't do a fixed size if it's too much deformed. Huh? So let's go through here. So it's just uh, picking up where it left off and it's cutting again and it will just continue until the complete job is finished. So. I can easily take out my, my segment here and already go to the person that is doing the sewing. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a volunteer, uh, so we had to do this up front. That's why we have that uh, display over there. Now, if you look at flags, it is a similar kind of material. Um, the design uh, will be slightly different, but it's going to be straight as well. So ideal for flags too. So um, this is soft signage, very close to our, let's say, to our industry. Uh, if you talk about textile, look at how nice that feeds. Uh, no wrinkle, no nothing, no whatsoever. Um, if you look at the industry we are in, soft signage is part of our DNA. Um, if uh, we look at, um, let's say, alternative uh, textile industries, uh, one that comes to mind is upholstery. Upholstery is done a lot. Uh, it is still uh, a very active industry. And uh, what we noticed is that in this industry, we have uh, several uh, F-series units. Uh, at different companies doing cutting materials uh, for upholstery. Now, what you'll notice in this industry is that all these materials will be pre-printed and not necessarily with registration marks. Uh, what, you will know, what you will see, these are, uh, let's say, patterns uh, that are made or it's, um, it's just a plain color that is going to be used. Uh, why am I talking about upholstery? Well, in the previous uh, webinar, we uh, had um, gener uh, Generate, uh, Yanni, tell us about uh, his uh, experiences with the F-Series. Uh, we've looked at textile applications and we found a, let's say, a customer not that far from here in the Netherlands uh, who is basically doing upholstery. And he has one of our machines. So if we start the video, you will see the company is called Calypso, and they are uh, professional upholsterers. Um, so they do the complete range of project-based, uh, let's say, project-based upholstery, as they do it for, uh, let's say, standardized designs. Uh, one of their specialities is yachts, uh, complete projects that they that they do. 
Here you can see a nice view of uh, the F-series uh, cutting. Uh, that was a very quick view, but we slowed it down. So here you can see the F-series equipped with a rotary module as well. So cutting the textile. Um, this type of textile is probably a cotton-based material. Uh, and not uh, printed using a uh, dye sub, but just uh, cotton based using acidic inks. Uh, and they use this machine for uh, all their pre cut designs. So if they want to upholster a, uh, a, um, a chair, they do this on their uh, F series. So no longer it's hand and scissors anymore. So um, any questions that we still have will be answered. Uh, you can even use the form on our website to uh, pose any questions yeah, you know I, I have the same thing i look at something and then 20 minutes a half an hour a day later i have another question so you can use the form you can even use the uh, let's say the comment section below uh, to pose any questions and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can now uh, before we finish this webinar i'd like to uh, thank Caldera for uh, helping us with the video, with helping us setting up this workflow, because without, without companies like Caldera or SAI, oh, we would not be able to make a nice uh, workflow, and it would be a lot more difficult for the uh, operators and end users to run. Um, Caldera will f have a webinar of their own next week, same day, so uh, within a week. Uh, you can register for the webinar below. So in the description, you will see a link. Click on it, register and follow that uh, webinar. They will talk about Caldera specifically. So they, uh, there you can see what Caldera can do for you. Um, and then, yeah, I would like to thank Olivier for uh, again helping me uh, look this good on screen. Um, and to have a nice, decent flow of the webinar. And uh, before we leave, I bid you all stay safe and tune in next time because who knows what we're going to show next time. So bye, everybody. See you next time.